Well, I'm down in Castletown now to talk more about the closure of that uh, unit at Southlands that's coming up. And with me is Joe. And it's, this is from a different perspective because it's your husband that works at the unit, Joe, I understand. Mm, that's right, yeah. He's actually a, a cleaner but stroke housekeeper, is a posh word for it. <laughs> and um, he has worked at Thyme Unit before. But the thing is, it's the travelling um, going from Douglas, go, sorry, going from Castletown to Douglas. And he's been told he's, le he's going to be going up there on Thursday. Um, but I don't know about the other staff. But in all honesty, he's so concerned about myself, my disability, my mental health. Um, really, um, not only that, I feel for the relatives. I feel for people who actually are going to have to travel a long way because there's no signage to get to Thymenic. It's, I would say as a Manx word, it's out in the sticks. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I feel for um, Janice that I, you know. This is the lady we interviewed? The lady you interviewed, yeah. And, um, and there is different types of dementia and Obviously, they are going to be um, distressed, moving, they'll be confused. Um, there are two um, units in Thymenic um, and they are going to be split up and they will really, they will not know all the staff that are there. Um, they'll only know a few. Um, my husband's worked at Gansey Unit for so many years he has got um, an MVQ in healthcare, um, but he stopped to do that because basically he um, he was basically um, told that of the cutbacks and everything um, by one of the managers there, one of the deputy managers. Um, but there is going to be a short of short of, st of staff. There's la two ladies that are pregnant. There's a long term illness member of staff that will have to leave because actually if you're working with the mental health service you can actually leave at 55. Um, but the, the all, all of this really is disturbing not only for the relatives but for myself as well, for Tim's health, the staff that are having to move and also I just want to be sure that Mrs Hay, Hay How, um, or Hay Ho will be um, going to be honest about um, being, well, well, given money for petrol or diesel. Um, also, there are staff that live in Douglas, there's staff that live in Balasala. There's also staff that, one member of staff who's part-time lives um, in Port Erin and she doesn't drive. So really, it's going to be very, very difficult. and. If this continues, if it, if it really continues, it, what's going to happen is, is that, you know, if they're not going to sort of sort it out pretty quick, um, I know they're getting the Ramsey unit trying to do that. They've been trying to do that for a long, long time. <clears throat> but it's the sickness side, the staff. It's also the, basically, the, the concerns of everyone really. I mean it was a shock just to the staff than, than it was to the relatives. The relatives were told first then the staff Tuesday just gone were told. Well the lady concerned said she couldn't be in two places at once. Yeah well. She I, called it, I mean I asked Rob, Chris Robert Shaw about this and you know he's, he's happy with the way it was handled but mm. someone had to be told first but a shock for your husband? Very much so and also a shock for me um, having to travel you know, and it would take him, you see, if he does, he does day shifts, so if he was to do 11-7, he's very reliable, he'll go very early, obviously he has to get me ready, um, up and dressed, showered, and then he'll go early, help me with my breakfast, and then he'll be back by half seven, quarter to eight, so then I start putting the tea on, he gives me a ring on my mobile, put the tea on, wait for him to get home, and you know, he could be delayed, traffic, whatever, but that, that's not really the point. I think the point is that Gansey Unit really is a family. It's the whole unit is like a big family and they are, they are a lovely group of staff that work together. And, but there are, there have been issues. They've, they've actually 
just not long refurbished Ganzi unit and the, the staff and the um, other um, the, and the clients were moved upstairs to one of the other not severe elderly mentally infirm and I can't understand why they just can't do that we don't know why and well, it's lack of staff isn't it I mean there's everything is down to yeah, staffing levels yeah. have now fallen below what they want mm. and they have said it will be around six weeks but they haven't put a guarantee they haven't it. put a guarantee no and we could until they the until they sort of like get well until they get staff employed um then that's going to take some time and rosie she's a lovely lady she's the manager of the units and Rosie, do you know, she's got a lot on her hands and she, I know she's been trying to interview people, obviously Tim's explained this to me, but there has been two nurses being turned away and therefore... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Two nurses turned away? What, they weren't nurses. good enough or what? No, their, their names were written down and the, basically they, they, were, they were told they didn't need, they weren't needed and they were fully qualified and the, and the issue here is that you know, why would they do that? And also there's a nursing school on the Isle of Man and my psychiatric nurse, she actually set it up. She, so the specialist nursing at Nobles Hospital for this kind of speciality. So anyone could go to um, obviously this sort of these forums and learn about psychiatry, learn about mental health and then go into their professions. So, you know, there's a student thing that's going on and... But they have made it quite clear that they've looked and they've looked and they've advertised and re-advertised. Yes. So, are you saying that's not necessarily the case or are you just no, surprised? I, or? No, I, I don't think that's the case, to be honest with you. I, I personally think that it's sometimes... I could be wrong here, but sometimes it's who you know or, you know, and this has happened in the past. Okay, I mean, you've got nothing yeah. to back this up. No, Let's make it quite clear. Nothing, this yeah, this is yeah. just your... This is my own right. opinion, and I know... Falling lawsuits up. Yeah, fly. yeah, I don't want to, yeah. yeah. Just, some, just my opinion, on, opinion. On, on the issue, yeah. Well, we, we, we normally get quite quick feedback, so I'm sure these, will, these things will be uh, talked about more. Mm. But, I mean, at the end of the day, unsettling for the staff. I mean, you can't speak for the staff, and I know that he can't talk on camera, as and nobody can that works there, because yes. of the contractual arrangements with government. But mm. the feeling was... It was a, very unsettling, I suppose. Very unsettling um, for Tim to come home. And he's quite, you know, distressed at the fact that he's got to go. But he's more concerned on my part. But I always say, oh, don't worry about me. I'm fine. You know, I get on with my life. I just do what I have to do, my chores, and I look after him. And he looks after me. But really, it is, it, he's just going to be concerned. But he needs to have his mobile phone on him at all times in case... I don't know, in case I have a fall or, you know, if I stand and do the dishes. Or, and this is um, something that um, sometimes the staff can be a bit disgruntled about and they're not happy with that one member in particular. I'm, I don't want to mention names, but that, per, that member of staff will be leaving as well. So there's lots leaving, there's lots retiring. And yeah, it is staffing issues, but the thing is, um, I just want to be reassured basically that there would be some kind of allowances, petrol allowance, especially for... Well, they, ha they have said that, as far as I'm aware, on the, yeah. the media, that I heard there was going to be some, you know, allowances for people having to travel the extra distances, yeah. so... It's, but it's the contract that Tim was telling me that they will never get the allowance, so whether or not that's an issue that's had to change and it's been changed... I think basically you want clarification. Yeah, that's, I would like clarification.